We're here today at a very spring-like orchid lake near Oxford. We're joined by Kev Hewitt and we're going to have a look at the new ESP Onyx Big Pit Reels. Now, it's another reel on the market, it's our first venture into carp reels, but um, it's got a few interesting features that make it a very practical tool for carp fishing. Now, I sent you the first prototypes, must be about two years yeah, ago must, now, Kevin. Yeah, it? at least two years ago now, yeah. And to be honest, it's come quite a long way. It's been on a journey since, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. I've sort of rang you up and thrown bits back at you and a few ideas and, and quite a lot's changed from that original sample that I remember receiving yeah. from you in the post. Quite a lot's changed to sort of get to where we are today with, with the final version, really. Yeah, that's and, right. um, I've got to say, I'm, I'm so over the moon with it. Absolutely love it. I mean, I had other sets of reels in the past and I always thought it was going to be hard for me to sort of come off my old reels. But, you know, we've got something just a little bit special here. Yeah. I mean, a lot of the, the bigger reels used by carp anglers were originally aimed at the sea fishing market. So like massively deep spools, um, screw up handles, you know, that sort of thing, uh, quite heavy. And we've sort of adapted um, a big reel specifically with the needs of the carp angler in mind. So there's various uh, practical features on the reel. Uh, we'll go through them now. Let's have a look at them a bit closer. Yeah, well, that's the reel itself. As, as the name says, is a, is a big pit reel. So for, yeah. for long range casting, for, for, for anything like that is absolutely perfect. And um, let's talk about the handle to start off. This yeah. is something that we changed you know, a few times throughout the, the process of testing. And obviously we made a nice folding handle. So you just pop the button in and fold it in. So Every, everyone loves a folding handle, that's you, right. you know. It's so easy to pack away. Um, you get the tackle tarts that like to actually fish with a folded handle, not yeah. for me. Snug setups. Yeah, yeah, snug setups, not for me, but from, mm. from a practical point of view, folding it up when you're packing it away, nice and easy. So that, that was a nice little touch. The wooden handle that yeah. everybody loves, nice dark wood as well yeah it? nice dark wood handle um, and going go, looking a bit further we got the slow oscillation so you, you can yeah. really see the perfect line lay on there now that's two reasons we got the perfect line lay one's because of the nice slow oscillation yeah which is proven to get extra yards that's when right. you're distance casting and secondly is the depth of the spool now again, from the first sample that you sent me with a real big deep spool that I had to put like 600 meters of line on or so, we've gone down to, um, well, to start off with, the, the reel comes with two spools we've that's decided. Right. So you get a spare spool and the spool that's on the reel. So you've got a shallow spool, yeah. which we specifically designed to fit sort of 320 meters of 10 pound line basically. So the, the reason behind it, most lines come on a thousand meter spools nowadays. So all you have to do is pick up a shallow spool, pick up a thousand meters, one spool of line, yeah. and that will wind perfectly onto three that's, that's reels. That's the ultra shallow spool. Exactly, the ultra shallow pound. spool, yeah. This so, one here I've got is, is the, the, sh the slightly deeper spool. We call them, they call them ultra shallow and shallow. And shallow. Um, the slightly deeper spool, we're calling the shallow spool, designed for 15 pound, which is the most popular mono used for carp yeah. fishing and it takes 300 metres, so... One spool of 1,000 metres goes straight onto three absolutely. reels. You don't need to worry about back in line. Right. And um, yeah, so it's got a few advantages. You don't need to judge your back in line and end mm. up short on your last reel. You don't need to buy two spools of line just to do three yeah. reels, which can be a, you know, Saving quite, quite a costly. Cost on, on yeah. the sort of the premium and, monos. And I guess the other key feature is that because it's got the shallow spool, you don't have to put much line on it, so there's less weight to the reel, Absolutely, and it yeah. also helps with the line lay. You know, you get that perfect line lay every time because you're not stacking loads of line up upon line. Well, what you get sometimes get if you've got backing underneath your, your mono um, is that it's, it's like a, a fairly spongy substrate, yeah. and the mono on top just beds in and digs yeah, in and digs in, doesn't it? And yeah, then I've it seen just, it. if yeah. you're chucking long, you get so far down the spool and then it's starting to snag up, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, we've all, we've all been there, we've all had it. No yeah. matter what quality of reel, even top end reels, it, it happens if you've got too deep a spool. So that's completely eradicated with the shallow spool. So I love that idea. In fact, it was probably yeah. my idea, I believe. I don't know, Quite you possible, might have been, Kev, yeah. you were thinking about the same thing <laughs> yeah. as well, but I certainly come to you with the idea yeah. of having the shallow spool that, that one spool of a thousand metres goes on three spools. So. That was that was that's a really nice touch, Ooh. and I'm really pleased that we've done that. Um, 
going on to the drag system. Yeah. Now, I, I've we've got a rapid lockdown drag, so it's a half a turn from being sort of bait runner mode yeah. into half a turn into being tight for, for playing fish. And I love that, that's my you kind of drag. Really. I much prefer that. I've been sold on that for a number of years and, and that's how I wanted the reel to go. But I know you said that quite a few people, and yourself included, mm. prefer to have, have like, yeah, a, a slower drag, a, yeah. fine, a fine drag as such. So basically the reel comes with two different drag adjusters. So you can use whichever one you prefer, like Kev You can says. have your rapid lockdown, yeah. or if you prefer the, the fine drag, you can just whip it off with a few turns and then pop the other one on. So yeah. you've got both, the best of both worlds. Yeah, so the fine drag just provides a nice incremental adjustment, whereas the rapid lockdown, like Kev says, just... You can just pop it off and pop the next the turn, one on. And it's locked up, so it's dead simple. Um, but it's, you know, horses for courses, whichever you prefer, we provide both options. Yeah. Um, another key thing that I know from our initial sample was, was the line clip. Now, yeah. I wasn't overly happy with the line no, clip. The line right. was pinging out of it at yeah. times, and, and uh, so that was something I'd come to you and said, you need, we need to work on yeah. that. And, um, and you've made a few adjustments, and now the line clip's perfect, so you can just tuck the line behind it, and it doesn't damage the line whatsoever. That's what I like about it. Sometimes, you know, on some of the old reels, you hit the clip, and when you unclip it, you can feel that damage yeah. in the line. Whereas with this one, there's no damage in the Even line. Even on the finer lines, yeah, it's fine, yeah. isn't it? So. Yeah, finer line. I mean, I use the ten pound mm. for long range fishing with a yeah. shock leader, and fifteen pound for like most of my fishing, and it doesn't damage the line at all. It's it's just a really good clip. What we did was we moulded a little plastic component, like a little back plate, behind the stainless line clip, and it's got a little raised cleat on it, which the, the sort of line clicks over, so you get a nice satisfying click without damaging the line at all. So it's a nice secure line clip, but without any damage to the line. It's also a nice fast retrieve. Uh, it's got a good ratio, good gear ratio on it for a quick retrieve. So when you're fishing at range, you're not having to wind in for ages. It's roughly a metre of line per turn of the handle it retrieves. The gears, machine brass gears, it's going to last a long time, nice and durable. Um, nice chunky anti-reverse lever on the back, so you're not sort of fumbling around under the reel trying to find the anti-reverse if you want to um, f play fish off the back wind as I do. Finish in black with nice little subtle red decals. So it's a really classy looking reel and looks good on any setup. Yeah, I mean, overall, just generally from using it for the past two years, it's just really smooth, you know, nice and quiet, silent yeah. reel, really nice and smooth. The clutch is immaculate and that, 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 you know, that last long term that I've been using it, the clutch has been perfect. And, and overall, it really is a casting tool at the end of the day. Yeah. If you want to be hitting those further distances, then this is definitely the reel to go for. And it's not going to break the bank either. It's really, really well priced. Yeah. Um, and it's definitely going to be set to be a winner. I mean, I used to use the Dyer emblems quite a lot, which is a, a relatively small spooled reel compared to this. And just the extra distance I'm getting using one of these is, is so noticeable with, with minimal effort as well. It's that long cone spool just makes such a difference with the, with your, the, the superb line lay as well to your distance casting um, so yeah it's we've developed a big pit reel you've tested it to death haven't you i mean yeah, how many right. big fish have you caught over the last two years <laughs> a, a good number a couple of 50s included yeah definitely a couple so, of 50s and a few 40s and yeah it's, it's perfect for my type of fishing not a lot more i can say about it brilliant so that's the new esp onyx big pit reel excellent value for money with some really nice features that make it a perfect carp fishing reel.